our channel. I am Mia. And I am Maya. And, and we are the Fitz Twins. Twins. Today we're going to be going over how to look polished, how to always look good, look your mm -hmm. best. Just a few tips to kind of guide you on how to always look good and feel good and know what it is. But every time that you just try to just be chill, chill down, be, be chill, chill, be casual, be kind of low, be uh, be like you comfortable. Know, you always end up running into somebody. Trying to have on a hat, you always end up running into somebody. You guys should be looking your best every single day. And if your best is, you know, just getting out of bed and, you know, combing your hair for the day, then that's your best. So if you guys are subscribed to our channel, you would have known that we did post a video a couple months back discussing why you should always look good every single day. If you guys have not checked out that video, make sure you guys watch this video and then go check that video out. The first tip that I have for you guys is to enhance your outfits by wearing some jewelry with your outfits. So you, every woman should have a gold jewelry and a silver jewelry in her collection. You always want to have some jewelry to accessorize your looks. You don't have to um, go for earrings, necklace, and bracelets. Sometimes you can cut back and just do yeah. earrings, bracelets. Sometimes you may just you may want to do a dainty necklace. Jewelry that really looks good are the classic timeless pieces that you can wear with almost anything. And so. This is going to be your jewelry that you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So almost you can wear this jewelry every single day. So me, when I first discovered the small gold hoops, y'all, I was wearing that with every outfit because it just looks so good. It just really elevated my outfit. Like I also wear the dainty, y'all. I love the little dainty jewelry, the dainty necklaces, just because they go with so many things. With the jewelry, you don't want to have bold earrings, bold necklaces, bold, bold bracelets. It's, it's just too much. too much. All in one outfit, it's just too much, and it really just takes away from your outfit. Yeah. So you want something to kind of enhance your outfit. Jewelry just always ups it to the next level. If you want to make an outfit sexy, add jewelry. Okay. So these two bracelets that I have on right now, they are from Ana Luisa, and Ana Luisa is a jewelry company they offer a plethora of different pieces this is how the packaging came it came in a box which is really really cute i'm really loving the packaging with the park cardboard boxes lately but it comes in these cloth pouches that you can store your jewelry in these pieces are gold plated and they are the best gift for you to gift yourself this season what better way than to add some affordable luxury pieces to your collection that will last you for a while, that will make your outfit pop, make you feel feminine. I literally love gold jewelry, you guys. This is their Aura bracelet and it is inspired by a watch band, y'all. It almost looks like a watch, but this is like the perfect everyday bracelet. Like, I am so in love with this. Y'all, I just really love their packaging. I love how it comes. I just love everything about it. So, this is their Old Vest Bandit bracelet. And you guys see it has an opening. This bracelet is so dainty. It's so soft. I love this bracelet. You can wear it with literally anything. This is a braided chain bracelet that they offer and it comes with a little heart on the end. If an everyday bracelet was a thing, this would literally be it. <laughs> so it is very versatile, it's lightweight you guys, it's very polished and it's so just subtle and cute. These are the fun and flirty hoops with the extra oomph, with the extra oomph, with the extra oomph to it, okay? <laughs> There is a 20% off sale going on right now, so make sure you guys go pick up your jewelry pieces so you can pop this summer. All of the links are in the description, so make sure you check it out, as well as jewelry care information inside of the link. These are the perfect pieces for you to wear to any type of, really any type of event. When it comes to your wardrobe, you actually want to invest in quality items. Investing in quality items makes your outfit look so much more put together. So you want to keep it simple with your neutral colors, white, black, 
nude. You can add color. Now me, I'm a girl that likes color. I yes. like color and I like neutral looks as well. When you're adding color to your looks, you want to make sure that it actually goes along with you. You want to make sure that it looks right with you. It's the color that actually goes with your skin color. It looks right on your body type and it just looks good on you overall. You know, white makes you look a little bit bigger. People like wearing black all the time because like it makes you look smaller when it comes to your wardrobe I just want y'all to know that one size do not fit all loosely fitted clothing can look good on one person but on another person it could just eat them up swallow them up get your clothes altered getting your clothes tailored mm -hmm. to fit to your body shape ever looks good on you accentuated you feel like that's your butt you feel like that's your boobs just make sure it has some class to it it's put together in terms of wanting to look polished. I love my five inch and above heels. Okay, y'all? Okay, I'm just gonna let y'all know. I, I am a shorter girl. Okay. So, my five inch heels, like two inch or even a one inch or even a flat will look just as good with your outfit. Two or one inch heel is really good for you if you are in the workplace and you don't want to keep yes. wearing flats every single day. You might want to put on a heel with your outfit, but heels to be too high and uncomfortable so you might want to go with a lower inch yes. heel that can accentuate your outfits a little more y'all it's all in the details all of the small details matter you can find some heels and some flats that will be comfortable for you a perfect heel or flat that is the most comfortable that i have ever had that i have ever worn stepping into them is just like stepping onto cushion and they are these vivea heels y'all you guys can see the heel isn't too high as well but these shoes will add all of the sass and the pop of color to your outfit y'all do y'all see this yeah. heels i saw this heel y'all cannot pass this up I really could not. I was just like, this is the perfect heel for the perfect time. You know, it's spring, it's summer, pastels are in. It's high quality. I love how it's made, you guys. The stitching and the details are very quality. The first heels that I, my feet hasn't hurt while wearing them. These are the Lavender Square Toed Jade Heels heels are skin friendly and they are ultra soft microfiber soles which explains why these shoes are so comfortable because I've never had a pair of comfortable heels like this. I have the Jade Square Toe Heel in the turquoise blue. These heels will enhance your summer or spring look whether you're wearing a dress, whether you're wearing jeans. Vivaya is an eco-friendly shoe wear brand that creates comfortable quality pieces from recycled plastic water bottles. They do this through a manufacturing process using 3D knit technology. These are the Aria 5 Hemp Flats. I love the pattern that they have on here, almost like of a knit pattern. But because my feet are narrow and small, I feel like I could have went a whole size down. These are the first flat in the world, okay? That is made with hemp. If you don't know, hemp is like the queen of a natural, sustainable fibers. It is hypoallergenic. So now the hemp shoes has antibacterial properties in it and also thermoregulating properties in it. Now these properties is what's going to cause your feet not to have any odor and also going to allow your feet not to sweat at all which is different in other shoes that create smells and that can create odor and actually trap in that odor. I know some of y'all know somebody has walked around with some stinking feet, okay? And that is not the move. Shoes are also made up of a stronger fiber than the other shoes that's on the market today. So with the fiber being so strong, that is what's going to make your shoes be long lasting and stand the test of time. So the next shoes that I'm going to get into is the Ina shoes how the shoes feel the texture of the shoe yeah. the detailing at the top of the shoe yes. i'm just in love y'all so i will definitely be wearing this on my business outing I don't like the this color, the color. The is the it color. color is it coming up on the camera right is the camera doing this some justice the discount code is 15 percent off. off and you guys can pair this discount code with Vivaya's two-year anniversary discount celebrate their two-year anniversary they are including hip materials into more of their shoes i know 
we talk about self-care in a lot of other videos, y'all. We just had a feminine hygiene routine video, so y'all make sure y'all go check that video out. Be sure to take out the time to actually groom yourself, actually pamper yourself. Being organized with your upkeep, how often does your nails need to be done? Because I'm going to tell y'all, chip nails are not in style. Is your nails cut short or medium length? But the sauce is to find out which shade goes with your skin tone the best. I know for me, it is in the pink family. Fresh chips are such a classic look that goes with any outfit, goes with anything. Do things that you love to keep a smile on your face. The smiles are very contagious, okay? So you may make the next person smile by you just smiling. Lastly, keeping your skin moisturized. So another thing that you guys do not want to do ever in life is walking around here without putting on any lotion. Now the last thing we want to do is be out here looking ashy. Now we don't want to have a put together look, yes. put together makeup look, outfit, and then we out here walking around with ashy feet, ashy, ashy elbows. We're not walking around ashy, y'all. It is tw it's 2022. If you're walking around ashy, go back inside. Knowing what type of skin you have. Is it oily? Is it dry? Is it normal? You guys want to be making sure that you are picking and using the right products for your skin type. Body mask, skin mask, whatever you mm -hmm. need to do. Is this going to be a weekly thing? You know, is this going to be a few times a week? Um, so now when it comes to your makeup, y'all. Okay, now this is my favorite part. Now makeup is supposed to elevate your beauty. Elevate the natural beauty that you already have. You want to keep it simple. You want to keep it neutral. When you are doing your neutral shades and your nude shades. You want to make sure that it is a shade that goes along with your skin color. Yeah. So if you know that that shade does not go with your skin color, then you need to find a much more neutral shade to go with your skin color. There's yeah. a lot of neutral shades out here that fits everybody. You Fancy know, Beauty has a plethora. Was it over 40 shades or 40 different shades? Mm -hmm. So even just very clean, y'all. Um, mm -hmm. There's a ton of clean girl makeup videos on YouTube. You guys can go watch them if you want to do that. I know people, some people like the natural look. Some people like the more contoured look. Don't go to the makeup counters and let these makeup artists tell you or some of them are not makeup artists, okay? let them tell you that you're this color because they tell they usually be telling all the brown girls that they're one color press the sample you guys can get a sample that you guys can sample out and mm -hmm. test it on your face and test it on your neck or your chest so it can match your face if you are you know going to a much more formal event or something you guys can go for a bold eyeshadow look now if you are going for a bold eyeshadow look you don't want to have one bold lips you want to keep the lips yeah. very light you want to keep the lips very neutral um this is your neutral shades your soft pinks if your eyes are doing a lot you don't want your lips to do a lot your if lips are doing a lot you don't want your eyes to do a lot so for the everyday polished look, you want to keep like a neutral lip shade. So for me, the unbeatable combo is brown liner, nude lip. Nude lip. <laughs> Another shade is your pinks. Different yeah. shades of pinks. Pink. Now, yeah. you don't want to go too high. You We're not trying to give clown. We're yeah. trying to give polished. Mm -hmm. Every girl needs this color in her collection. It's a red lip. It's a red yeah. lip. It's just an unbeatable lip color. Like, it is. honestly, I feel like a red lip takes your outfit up. A not probably about 10 6 to 10 notches okay when it's like a basic outfit look with paired with a red lip oh is it baby it has Girl. taken you up so many levels yeah. so one thing that i want y'all to be keep be keep in mind don't be walking out here with no busted eyebrows okay they will make or break your face your <laughs> whole look when your eyebrows are done correctly and when mm -hmm. they're done right Girl, who is that? Whenever mm -hmm. your eyebrows are not right, girl, it's just not it's gonna just look right. I'm it's just here to tell y'all, it's not, not going to look right. So take the time out to learn how to do your brows. Take the time out to actually practice doing them to make sure mm -hmm. they look great. So I know for me, I actually don't put any product in my brows. I just 
kind of conceal them. Um, I've been doing this for a while now. I didn't used to do that back then, but me and how I like my makeup, that is just what I love. If you are doing your eyebrows way too dark, it gives off a much more harsh, much more bolder look. You are using the natural color of your eyes. It gives a much more softer, feminine look that you already have. It if your skin gets oily like my skin gets oily, especially when I'm sitting in front of a lot of lights all day, yeah. <laughs> you want to make sure that you have some oil blotting sheets inside of your purse. Take them to your skincare. You need to take care of your skin. And you need to be drinking your water. You need to have a cleanser. You need to have an exfoliator. You need to have facial creams. If you use any of the oils, any of the shea butters, you can use that. But you need to be having something to making sure that your face is hydrated and nourished. Yes. Your hair don't want to put effort into your hair just put on a nice head wrap you guys whatever you do do not walk out the house with that bonnet on it's not polished it's not going to look good it's not going to look good on any occasion i would much rather you do a dress down day and wear a hat you want to make sure that your hair is neatly styled so you also want to go for those classic looks to look polished so those are going to be your low ponytails your low buns your low buns your high ponytails your high buns you want to wear your hair in a natural curly style it's like straight look um you may want to throw in some curls in there you don't want to have these loud colors you want to go for more of your blacks, you can go for a highlight, you can go, you can even do a burgundy look. Yeah, highlight, blonde, your neutral toned colors. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to wear your hair more on a more natural style or you want to invest into weaves, then just make sure it looks nice. If you are not going to take the time out to put effort into your hair, then just don't even put effort into your outfit because it's not going to look good invest in you a nice handbag this can be in neutral colors or in a pop-up color as well especially if your shoes are in color then your handbag can be in color and if you have on a colorful outfit the perfect color blocking piece would be a handbag and also make sure that you are taking care of your items and really you want to make sure that you have on the right handbags with the right outfits so you don't want to wear like a business looking handbag with a night looking outfit yeah it's just not going to go together so you want to make sure that you are having the perfect handbag for the perfect occasion on wherever you are going and you also want to make sure that you have a neutral color handbag in like all the neutral colors. You need white, neutral, black, and brown. Those and taupe. Yeah, and taupe. Those are neutral shades that you, you really need. New, yeah. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa and the sale they have going on right now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Give yes. us some likes and give us leave us some comments in the comment section don't forget to subscribe hit the bell so that you guys will never miss a video from us and you are updated whenever we post new content and we will see you guys in our next video bye, bye guys, guys.